smartphone, augmented smartphone, reality, augmented reality. I'm Michael Fisher, and this, this is a portal to another world. The first commercial smartphone with Tango. Its full name is the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. And yes, it is a behemoth. But it needs to be to accommodate the sensors that make Tango work. Some of these almost every smartphone has, an accelerometer, a compass, a gyroscope, and a camera. The Fab 2 Pro adds two special optical sensors, an infrared depth detector and a motion tracking camera. It feeds all of the data from all the sensors into the Tango Core, special software running on a specially tuned Snapdragon processor. The result is a smartphone that can track where it is in the world, discern details about its surroundings, like edges and corners, and remember those details as it moves from place to place. Put simply, it has a better idea of where it is in 3D space than any other smartphone. Put geekily, it's a tricorder. That lets it do some pretty awesome things. Gaming is probably the easiest way to illustrate this. Even if you haven't played Pokemon Go, you're probably familiar with how it works. Game characters pop up in a kind of viewfinder on your phone, so they seem to exist in the real world. But because your phone doesn't know where the ground is, the Pokemon tend to float ambiguously somewhere between dimensions. With Tango, the phone knows where the walls, floor, table, and ceiling are, so characters or objects you put into the virtual world will do a better job of conforming to those boundaries. Some games blend the real and virtual, like this one, Raze, that gives you a pet to take care of, or Towers for Tango, which lets you build a SimCity-like structure on your floor. Others just use motion sensing to let you navigate inside a fully digital environment. It's awkward and often uncomfortable to hunch and pan your way around these games, but it's also intoxicating in a way, because it really does feel like you're holding a window to another world in your hand. And it's not just about gaming. Remember, the Fab 2 Pro can see edges and determine depth and distance. That means you can measure things remotely to see, for example, how long those curtains really need to be, or use apps from Lowe's and Wayfair to test fit new furniture and appliances. You can even apply molding to your walls or try out a new floor material. My favorite utility so far is Signal Mapper, which builds a blueprint of your home or office showing where your Wi-Fi is strongest and weakest. The potential that Tango unlocks is incredible, and once the early bugs get shaken out, I'm really going to enjoy the retail version. Wait, what? This thing is on sale right now? Well, then there are some things you should know. The software is bad. Not because it's an older Android version, though that is true, but because it's so unstable. Several of the Tango apps crash regularly. Tango itself still seems kind of raw in the middle. More than once, the Measure app has given me wildly inaccurate dimensions. And Lenovo's custom Android interface basically breaks notifications. The combination of a diffusion layer with both dark and light text means that no matter what color wallpaper you choose, your alerts will probably be unreadable. Also, the screen flickers oddly when new alerts come in, and system apps tend to crash almost as often as Tango titles do. What makes it worse is that Lenovo's Motorola phones have great software, some of the best in Android. Why the company shipped its first self-branded phone in the US with this load is a mystery to me. With such a damning interface experience, will the Fab 2 Pro be worth its price tag to anyone? Well, yes, but not to many people, and probably not as a primary phone. It's too big and too specialized for that, which is why I'm skipping the usual review format for this one. But if you presume that Google will continue updating the Tango Core, and that developers will continue building Tango apps, both safe assumptions, then the Fab 2 Pro is a more modern and much more portable test platform than the developer tablet that's been offered up till now. It's also a very impressive engineering achievement from a hardware perspective, and Tango has real potential to redefine what phones are capable of, from gaming to utilities. But as it stands now, I think the software defects make the Fab 2 Pro a bigger miss than a hit. 
Check out Lenovo's superior smartphone offerings with my Moto Z reviews and subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss the next video from Mr. Mobile. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.